Hey guys and gals, welcome to Nation. My name is Jersey and you have found it. You are now officially here at the Nation, one of the cool kids. And if you're new, never checking this out, this is available via iTunes, Google Play, uh, SoundCloud, TuneIn, and of course, YouTube. So watch, listen, whatever you do, check us out. Thanks for visiting. My name's Jersey, nice to meet you. Uh, have a look around. This is like episode 35 or something. So you got lots of them to catch up on. And this is a weekly episode. So if there's something you want to see or hear about, please text me. Let me know your ideas. But if you are part of the nation, you are one of the cool kids. You watch, you listen, you comment, you thumbs up, you subscribe, you've done all that cliche weird YouTube stuff, and you said hi to me at ICE. Or even if you weren't at ICE and you've sent me text saying, what's up, love the show. You are the reason that I get to do this show, so what is up? You are one of the cool kids, just so you know, you are. Thanks for checking us out, you guys are awesome. If I say I want comments, you comment. If I say, hey, I need ideas for the episodes, which I do, always, you do that, so thank you very much. And if you buy your supplies through me, then there's like a financial what's up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you are also one of the reasons that I can do this. You're one of the cool kids to being part of the nation and buying supplies. You're just uh, at the top of your game. So thank you very much. If you would like to buy supplies, I am a rep for window cleaning, right? Window cleaning resource. Shoot me a text 862-312-2026. Ask a question. Tell me what's up. Tell me love the show. Tell me where you're checking in from. Tell me you hate the show. Tell me anything you want. I appreciate it. I always love hearing from you guys and girls. You guys text me all the time. It's awesome. Awesome. I have to say that from the bottom of my heart. Really, really means a lot. Just talking to people on the phone and they say, hey, I watch your videos and they mean something and I've gotten something out of them. I love them. Really, you guys make my day. So thank you very, very much for doing that. Ice, ice went off. My voice sounds like this because of that. I don't know. If it was just the yelling over music or chinging of machines or what, but it is done. Vegas is noisy and lights flashing and uh, we did a lot of walking, a lot of walking, but it was good. It was great. Uh, catch Ice next year. Um, it is uh, started as a carpet cleaning uh, expo. We're now getting more into window cleaning. It was a great kind of, uh, kind of talk to both parties it was awesome it was great it was a good time love meeting people and there was a ton of you there that said what's up and you watched the show i loved it i was overwhelmed so thank you thank you uh but first and foremost i do want to do some shout outs and i probably forgot and i didn't give you i'm not giving you a shout out from the show because i met so many people and i didn't have a ton of space already doing a bunch of it uh but first off jeremiah green uh nate and brett from uh, socal Love your guys' accent, by the way, was my favorite. I know you don't think you have one, but Southern California, like you know, Orange County, bro, man. Like anyway, uh, John Wagner up in uh, BC, British Columbia. What's going on, Mister Bobowitz? How's it going, man? Thanks, uh, Joe from Castle Keeper, Castle Keepers, uh, and uh, just talked to Nick uh, just a little bit before I did the show here. For a while, uh, he's up in Boston, and uh, he's just loving life. So, what's up to everybody? Also, thanks to uh, Norman and uh, your wife who watched the show. They're also from uh, Canada, and I got to meet them at the show. I met so many people at the show. I'm screwing it up. Wesley, what's up? Uh, it was fun hanging out with you, man. Uh, you're a super cool dude. Uh, I don't know if you watched the show, but there you go. Anyway. Thanks. It was awesome meeting people. I love meeting people in real life. I, I'm so bad at names. I'm, you've met me, like Derek. Uh, I've met Derek ten times in the last year. I met him again. I'm like, shake his hand. I'm like, hey man, nice to meet you. He's like, I met you like ten times. I'm like, oh, I'm an asshole, but I'm not really an asshole. I just play one on TV, but I forget names. I, I meet so many stinking people. Anyway, 
doesn't matter. The most important part of this video so far is the winner of the $50 credit and the swag bag. If you want to win, by the way, what are you doing? Comment down below right now. Tell me what's up, where you're from. Say anything and you're automatically entered. And it's a random drawing, so I don't even care if you talk about how crooked my nose is. That's fine. But the winner this week is Andrew McConnell. What's going on? Uh, you are the winner. All you need to do is just email me your information, josh at windowcleaningresource.com, and I will get that out to you. So thanks. Thanks, everybody, for sure. Um, this week, we're going to be doing something a little bit different than normal. Normally, we talk about the business side of things. Sales is part of business, right? You need to be good at sales or you will die at the wayside. If you're a wolf and you don't eat new food every day, you don't find things, you don't hunt, and you don't catch, more importantly, you die, right? That's the same thing. But what if? What if you're doing your bestest to be awesome sauce at sales and people are giving you rebuttals or they're giving you excuses? It's up to you to come up with a rebuttal as to why they should still hire you, even after they say, a certain answer to your question. You give them everything. You hand them your proposal. You hand them your business card and your flyers and everything. And they say no. Or they say any of these. These are just some of the ways I kind of go back from. And here's a fun thing. If you have one, you've heard, comment down below here on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube. Or if you're listening to podcasts, go to YouTube. Find the video search WCR Nation. Rebuttals. And jump in. And uh, let me know what you heard. And I'd love to take a crack at how to answer that tactfully. But there's never a real right r way to do it. And you're not going to get everybody. But the big thing about people is they have walls. People have they have their fortress. They're cross-armed, right? They're cross-armed. And they're just, they're just they, they have their guard up right from the get-go. And a lot of people do. But the thing is, is you need to try to get by that. Laughter is a great way. If you didn't know someone who's stone cold, bend their arm. If you can make them laugh, you're going to get in. Laughter lets guards up. Okay? So not all these answers or rebuttals have laughter in them. But if you can add it in any way. Not like cheesy, weird car salesman. This is my line and this is what I say. But real laughter, it helps immensely. Immensely. And you have to listen to what they're saying. Not just how they're saying it or why they're saying it or anything. You have to literally listen to what it is that they're saying. So, everybody's gotten them, right? I've gotten everyone from simple no to a simple, uh, I'm a Chevy man. And we drive, we were there in a Ford. I literally had that. And it was kind of like, ah, uh, 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 you know, anyone inside. And listen, you're not going to win everybody. If you're winning everybody, you're doing something wrong. I'm sorry. Because... The fact is, is land 80%. If you're landing 80%, your prices are good. If you're landing 100%, you're giving the stuff away. Something's not right. I don't like that. It's too high. Too many people that are saying yes. You're just not going to get them all. But here are kind of the most um, common ones. And I'm going to start. I'm going to, I have like bullet points. I'm going to jump over here and start with the big one. If you give everybody and you say, okay, right, you know, what do you think? No. No, thank you though, but no. It's just a no. It's just right out of the gate, it's a no. <clears throat> Excuse me. What are you going to say? Well, if you're one of those pushy car salesmen who everybody says always be closing, right? But if you're one of those pushy car salesmen dudes or chicks who's like, oh, you might not say no, but I will get and try to change your mind, that's not necessarily what they're looking for. But what it is, is they are literally saying, an end all phrase to get you to go away, all right? So here's the thing. If somebody's on the phone and you say, nope, no, thank you. That is the most stern way to get them off the phone right then and there. You may be interested in what they have to sell. They may be interested in what you have to sell, but they say no. What can you do? What can you say? Well, here's what I say as tactfully as possible. If somebody says no, I just said, okay, great. Well, thanks for your time anyway. Let me leave you with my card and some other information. Uh, I'm out of your hair now, but if anything changes with your current cleaner or if anything changes in your brain, there's my information. Just definitely let me know. I hand them the information and I leave. Why? 
because they're telling me they want me to leave. They're telling me it's over. The conversation is over. It's time to go. As hard as that is, I don't need to sell everybody. That's the big one. When somebody just says no and there's nothing that you can answer for them, there's no questions to answer, there's nothing that you can physically do or say, it's a tough one, but you just got to walk away. There's a great book that I just got done, well, not just, it'll say maybe a month ago now, three weeks, but it was a Grant Cardone uh, closing book. It was 101 Great Closes, something like that. I don't have it in front of me. I'm just throwing this out there in my brain. But there's a lot of them, and every one of them is focused on what question is being asked. If there's a question being asked, you answer the question. If you can answer the question, no matter how it's been asked, that equals a close, right? So in this particular case, the question is leave. Can you leave? That's no. No is just the straight most. I'm not talking about. If you push, anger ensues. If you leave information, then they have time to think about it. If they just throw your stuff away, great. I'm going to be back in there in a month anyway, or two months, or whatever my rotation is, and I'm going to talk to them again. But no is a real hard one. But that's the way. If you got a better way to say something to no, please uh, tell me down below. But the next one is going to be my favorite to get. So go from one opposite where there's nothing you can do to something you can do a lot on. And it's the you're too expensive one, right? Here you go to Miss Jane Doe's house. Show up. And uh, Jane Doe says, you know, you give them your price. It's $2.99 inside, outside. Track sales and, co- track sales and frames, a whole kit and caboodle. She goes, whoa, that's too high. That is higher than I thought it was going to be. Maybe they've never done window cleaning. They've never gotten it done professionally. Maybe they're starting to do better financially and they're starting to find services they want to do, right? People knowing price equates to them answering their own question. What was the price? They called you for that. So them knowing that, this is a fun one. I say, well, I'm sorry about that. Um, You know, our our price is usually uh, pretty competitive in the area. But here's what I could do. I'm going to leave you with my information and I'm going to give you a $20 gift card in case you change your mind. I know that doesn't help too terribly much, but I want to do something towards you. Here's a $20 gift card. Now, we're going back to those plastic gift cards. Remember the plastic gift cards? I hand them one of those or two of them or whatever. Business card, information, and my carbonless copy form that I do for houses if I'm on site, which you don't do too many on site. But if you are on site, you can do this kind of close. By giving them that, you're showing them that you want to do something, but your hands are tied, right? You know, let me give you this. This is a uh, gift card that somebody else had handed in, but I'll give it to you, and hopefully this will help you, okay? So it shows that you're doing something, but it shows your price is your price, right? It shows you're not shocked. Like if somebody goes, uh, man, you were way too high, and you go, really? Oh, man, I'm sorry, uh... What about 150? Right? That's that's dumbing down what you got. Now, there's all kinds of talk all over the place about uh, coupons and I don't ever change my price and my price is what it is and if you don't pay, you don't. I'm not like that. I'm not like that. But when I say a price, I gave you that price. It's kind of my best price in my head, right? Sure, I could go less than that, but it's your business. You can't do anything wrong. Remember that if you do decide to go against any of the advice that I'm saying. I don't know anything. We've been over that, right? But if you give them a $20 gift card and all the information, now all of a sudden they say, okay, you did something. You helped me try to get over, but the guy's price is the price. Now, if you dumb down your services just to match them, now you're a pushover. Well, now what is this guy doing? Like he doesn't know his price. He doesn't know all that. If I'm confident in my price, I'm sorry that that's what you're hung up on, but that's something that it is. If you go to the grocery store and they, you know, all your groceries, boop, 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 all done to the end, and they go, oh, it's $199.98. You go, whoa, that's crazy. They go, yeah, it is. Do you want me to put something back? And then nobody goes, oh, that is. Let me, uh, let me take some money off of that, right? It's kind of the same thing. You're too expensive. Get that all the time. Tell me down below what your clothes would be for that. I would love to hear different points of view on all this stuff. But that's what I do. 
The next one and most common in route is your two exp- um, is we have a guy. Now the we have a guy that one comes up very often, especially in route or in people that you're at a home show, right? You're talking to people who are not necessarily searching you out. You're going to them. It's very common. Here's the thing. When you're closing route, uh, you're out selling route, somebody will always have a guy. They're either going to have a guy, they're going to do it themselves, or they're not going to have it done at all, which is usually not the case. So either they have a guy which is themselves, or they have a guy which is not you. You can't always, oh, you got somebody, oh, darn. Because nobody's out there just waiting for window cleaners to come in. You have to then talk to them, let them know that you're better than the other guy, but not be pushy. Here's how I attack this one. I go in, say it, they go up. Oh, sorry, you know what? We got a guy. I say, oh, that's awesome. I Trust me, we love loyalty too. We have a ton of loyal customers. Um, how's he doing for you? Right? Open up the conversation. He's doing a good job. I, I saw windows looked all right, you know, when I came in. I'll never say bad things. But I can emphasize and use my uh, language to say different things. If you go in and go, man, those windows look great. They're going to go, yeah, they do, right? But I, oh, yeah, the windows look, they look pretty good. They look pretty good. You say it like that, then people get the, what do you mean, pretty good? What's wrong, right? Uh, ask them, listen, now's the time for you to listen, right? Now's the time for you to listen to what they actually say. Two ears, one mouth. Listen to what they say. How they say is you go off the next one. I said, well, listen, like I said, we love loyalty. But if anything changes with him, he stops showing up, stops doing a good job, stops holding doors for your customers. Here's my info. And I give them all the information they already did. Because now they have it. And the least they could do is hold on to it. If they throw it away, they throw it away. You can't force people to keep stuff anyway. Much less force them to read it if they did keep it. But I'd say, hey, even if you don't go with us, Listen, if you ever have a question on anything window cleaning, your current guy, you just want to double check things, you know, get questions answered or how he's doing things or anything, let me know. We want to be an asset to you also, even if you don't choose us. And I leave him with the card. I leave him with all that information. I'll leave. Now, here's the thing. With that close, I'm not attacking you, right? It may have just been a barrier to say we have somebody. It may have just been that. But listen, I went out and... They saw me as an ass. Wow, this guy's really trying to help. They could believe that or not. But I have people all the time, hey, I'm not a customer right now, but I got a question. This guy's out here using razors on my glass. Is that a thing? Yeah, that's okay. Just make sure that they are, don't have any rust on their blades. And uh, they should know what they're doing, though. It's real pretty common. It removes tape and gunk and whatnot. Right? People just want to be helped. They want to think that you're not a salesman. They want to let you down. What happens is... I've had people keep cards. Hey, you came in here six months ago. My guy just stopped showing up. He's not even answering his calls right now. I know it's the dead of winter, but the guy's just not showing up. Great. Well, we'll be there, man. I appreciate it. Our our bids are good for six months. So let me know. We'll be in there to we'll be in there today. We'll be in there tomorrow. Whatever it is. Leaving the information for it is not a hard close or hard rebuttal, but it's definitely beneficial. Had a lot of guys. Uh, sign up with us that way. I have another one which kind of goes off the other one that is, can you do less? People always say that, especially in the residential side of things. You show up, all right, it'll be uh, $199, and they go, would you do $175 cash? I go, no, everything's claimed. Uh, we claim everything regardless, so cash uh, doesn't much, much matter. Uh, but we offer a discount. Are you military? Oh, no, 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 I'm not military. Oh, well, okay. We do offer a 10% military discount. Um, but uh, that, that's the one right now. Like, oh, all right, all right. And here's the thing with that. Is if you offer a military discount, again, if you want to be angry that we offer discounts in general, be angry. But here's the truth of the matter. Is everybody's going to ask you, not everybody, a lot of people are going to ask you for a discount. And if you just say no, oh, this guy's not even working with us. And if you say yes to everything, yeah, senior discount, we have multiple services, we have here's what it is. People will always be able to find a way. Well, you know, if they get one, can I get one? But here's the thing. If you offer a military discount and somebody is military, great. I'm a huge supporter. Get 10% off. Awesome. You could lie to me, which is horrible, but most people won't lie on the military side of things because of the stolen valor thing, and it's the wrong thing to do, but they'll get 10% off. 
But here's the thing. When the people say no, I said, you did have an opportunity, but you just didn't qualify for that one. And people always they won't argue that. You know, they're not going to be like, ah, oh, well, military gets like, oh, yeah, you're uh, out there getting shot at or and you could do the discount for anybody. We focus on the military because it's a nice one. A lot of people are. I don't mind giving out the discount for that. Everything else, it stops them if you have a discount that they don't qualify for. Right. So, oh, well, we also have a multi discount. Uh, we have a multi service discount. Did you want to add on house washing? Our house washing is normally two ninety nine, but. You get to take another 10% off that and 10% off your window cleaning. No, no, it's more than I want to spend. Okay, well, not a problem. You're offering them. You're telling them how they could get it, what they could get. They just don't qualify, right? It's a big one. That's kind of another one where um, there's a win-win for everybody. And I don't get many people who come back over the top and be like, well, <laughs> the military gets when I want one. I've never had anybody say that, you know? And if somebody is military, then... Depending on what you what you think about it, great. First responders, people say, well, what about first responders? And great, you can. This is your business. Do with it what you like. You can't be wrong doing anything, you know. Um, so go that route. Uh, but uh, another really good one is the uh, oh man, your price is two ninety nine, man. I had a guy last year do it for ninety nine bucks. I go, what's $99? I'm shocked. Because this is right. What? 99 bucks? Holy cow. What's, what's up with that guy? How come you didn't have him come back? I already know the answer. Like, ah, well, <clears throat> you know, he, he messed something up. Or he's just not answering his phone. I can't get a hold of the guy. I go, oh, yeah. Well, you know, here's the thing with being a legit company. We have so much overhead. I got to pay my guys, I got to pay taxes on them. I got insurance for them. I got benefits for them. I got total insurance. I got all the vehicles you see and equipment, plus the newest water fed system that's on the market. All this stuff costs money. Those guys that can do it for $99, a third of my cost, usually are fly by nighters. They don't get to stick around too long because they realize they can't make a living working at those prices. I wish I could be that, you know, but having insurance. To cover my butt and cover your butt is always a good thing. People go, yeah, yeah, no, I totally get You just explained it to them, right? They knew in their head why Bucket Bob charged $99. They know that. They got a killer deal. And they know why they're calling you and not Bucket Bob this year. But all you need to do is listen to how they say it and you have your rebuttal. And just like that, most of the time, they, oh, I can't do that. Uh, yeah. If they still can't do that, I go, oh, are you uh, are you military by by chance? Ah, uh, no, no. Oh, we had a discount for military. Well, you can pay our services if you want. We can get you 10% off of that. Nah, I really don't want to do more service. All right. Well, let me. I could do this. Let me give you this card. Plastic gift card. Back to that. Let me give you this card. Uh, that card right there, use it like a gift card. It's 20 bucks off service. I know it's not a lot, but it's something, you know? Look at all this stuff. You tried to jump through a bunch of hoops. I never changed my price, right? I didn't allow them to get to 99. I didn't sour myself, but I gave them options. Now, here's the thing. If you're starving out there right now, if you have more time than money and you need that money, think about discounting, you know? Is it the best thing? No. But is it better than starving or having to eat your dog? Yes, it's way better than that, right? So do it if that is what you want to do. Remember, like I said, I'm a nobody who knows nothing. It's your business. You cannot be wrong in your business. Anything you do is right. So what you decide to do with it is your prerogative. But those are my kind of options, what I do. Now, here's the fun part. I still want people down below, post the rebuttals to whatever the people say. It doesn't have to be what I said. What do you hear the most of? What rejection do you hear the most of? Tell me, I want to know. We all are learning, right? And it doesn't necessarily have to be on the show. It could be from the comments. So read the comments down below. Give us a thumbs up and put your own comment. Even if you're new, what have you heard? What's common? I know there's going to be a lot of you guys, especially you nation people, who get called out to put stuff out. You guys do a ton of it. So I definitely appreciate that. And I want to tell you one more thing as we wrap up the show. Next week, uh, in the next weeks, we're doing a show all based on sucky window cleaning stories. What's like the worst thing that you did or had done to you 
while cleaning, while bidding a job, while on a job, any of those. I want a 30 to 60 second video just like this in front of a camera talking about what it was and I want to put a show together with that. So please comment on that. Uh, comment down below and you get entered into the drawing for $50 credit and the swag bag with the t-shirt and the Ettore pin and the sticker pack, which our new sticker packs are in print. How awesome is that? If you want to get a nation sticker pack, stay tuned. We're going to be giving those away too. And uh, I just appreciate it. If you're still here and this is your first time watching, you're officially part of the nation. You are one of the cool kids. Go back, watch a bunch of these, veg out, right? It's still winter in a lot of places, pretty much everywhere. Go watch a bunch of videos. See if you can't learn something and see if it's better than Candy Crush because it very, mo very well might be. But above all, my number, 862-312-2026. Shoot me a text if you got a question. Let's talk. Shoot a question. Tell me what's up. Buy supplies from me. I love that. Big, little, doesn't matter. Buy a system from me. Don't buy a system from me. Buy a scrubber or squeegee. We're here to help. Really, truly are. So thanks for letting me uh blab for a while and like i said comment down below with what your biggest no is and how you rebuttal that thanks and until next week have a great one and uh, go out there and be epic huh